Nice interior pass and a fadeaway jumper is good. That's number 22, Nathaniel Hoffman. Also number 24, Harry Munter. Number 10, Zach Izagayev. Hopefully I said that correctly. Bear with me if I did not. Number 11, Jonah Resnick. And number 12, Jake Cobloom. Jake Cabloom. So I apologize if I did not pronounce correctly, but please bear with me. It's my first time doing either one of these two teams here. Guys, everybody's been having a great time here at the tournament. It's pretty good basketball, some good sportsmanship. Players have been having a good time, and it's been a long weekend, four games in four days. As here come the storm back the other way. It's going to be a travel violation. I think it's going to go against oh, Ben. He did Ben and Dina on the floor also for Storm. There's good full court pressure there by the Storm. Maimonides Cats, the MCATs. I wonder what the number of players or students that go through the Maimonides School become doctors as their team nickname is the MCATs. We'll save that question for another day. Nice. Way to gather there by number 24, Harry Munter. Big center for Cats. Couldn't convert. A long three ball on the way. No good. That was Greenberg for the MCATs. Here come the storm. Nice drive. Running hook shot by Zach Iziagiev. And there's a steal by Munter. Here comes the Storm. Storm with a four-point lead here early, early going. Tier 2 championship. Bring it, ben. Nice drive by Ben Adidin. Now the lead is extended to six. So here comes Greenberg back the other way. Nice dump down pass. Could have been a foul, no call. 21, Nathan Weinstock for the MCATs puts it in. For five and a half to go here in the first quarter. And the Boca Storm, the Cats Yeshiva High School out of Boca, the Storm leads 6 2. Here come the MCATs. Nice post move by Nathan Weinstock, the big center for the MCATs. Now the lead is cut to two. Resnick. Sorry, that was his. The guy with the point. No. Adidas, I'm sorry. Three ball from the corner off the top of the backboard. Rebound cleared by Avi Schwartz. Maybe I did not announce Schwartz in the starting lineup. Two. It's going to be a reach-in foul on the floor. That foul is going to go against Yagiev. Josh Kanner out of Greenberg. Nice pass inside. Weinstock gets it to go, and he's fouled. Substitute coming on for Maimonides, number 35, Aaron Banks. Fouls called on the floor, no basket. Blocked by the coach of Storm, so. I will correct my mistakes if I ever make any. There's a steal by the Storm. Quickly the other way. Nice layup on the fast break there by Ben Adidin. Ben 
Cats break the pressure, but then they turn it over and it's stolen away, and here comes the storm. Nice give and go. Nice hang time, but the shot unable to get converted by Nathaniel Hoffman. Here come the MCATs. Weinstock, and it's going to be a timeout called by the Cats. 3.23 to go here in the first quarter. The Cats Yeshiva High School Storm lead the Maimonides School MCATs. Score of 8-4 to four here in the early going. Going on over on court number one, it's the Rochelle Zell High School Tigers out of the Chicagoland area. Looks like they're playing Milken. Trail by six late in the game. Maimonides will have the basketball. Sideline out of bounds. The ball gets knocked out of bounds, and it will go to the storm. Into the ball game for the MCATs, number 43, Zach Gelb. Here comes the storm. Shot gets blocked quickly the other way. Here comes Gewertz. He drives, can't get it to go, and the follow is good by Avi Schwartz for the MCATs. Ball gets knocked away, and the MCATs come away with it. But here comes Maimonides School, a chance to take the lead or tie. Nice drive. Bucket's good. That was Weinstock again. Big forward, the MCATs. Man to man defense by the Cats. Three on the way from the corner, way off the mark. The ball is going to get knocked out of bounds, but it will stay with the Storm. Pip checking back in the ballgame for the Storm is number 11, Jonah Resnick. Harry Munter getting a well-deserved break. Nice block by Weinstock, and here come the MCATs. Two minutes to go here, first quarter. Weinstock trying to kick it over to Schwartz in the corner. Ball gets knocked out of bounds. Stay on the court, guys. All right, so we're having a little bit of a technical difficulty with the scoreboard. So we are going to have to address that. So the players are getting free timeout. Coaches are getting free timeout. The MCATs tied this ball game up at eight. So it's about two minutes to go. Do you want me to keep the clock? Keep a minute. We're having a little scoreboard issue, but I'm just wondering what's going on. But they're gonna, they're working on it. We're going to roll. You know it's fine with that? 159. Yes, sir. Okay. 
All right, so it's going to be Maimonides basketball. They're going to have it under the basket. All right, folks. So I'm trying. I'm sitting here trying to uh, trying to talk to you guys and listen to hear what's going on. There is trouble with the scoreboard. We're going to get this game going regardless because they got to they got to get this game going. So a minute fifty nine here in the first quarter, and. Want to be Maimonides basketball on their end of the court, and we'll see what happens. All right, there we go. 159 to go. The scoreboard is back, and we are back in action here at the Tier 2 championship game, Maimonides versus the Cassius Storm. And the score is tied 8-8 eight to eight here in the first quarter. We are back. Scoreboard's back. Back-to-back chicken shack. Son of a gun, you better change your act. There's Weinstock with the basketball. Top of the key. This is Gelb. No, I'm sorry, that's Banks. Let's see if the Banks open on Sunday. Let's go, let's go, set up. Come on. Hey, go. Is a Yagiev. This will fade away. Nice job. Over the outstretched arm of Weinstock. Full court pressure here. It's a 1 2 1 1 full court pressure by the Storm. They break it easily. There's a nice drive. Oh, Aaron Banks couldn't get it to go. Quickly the other way. Here comes the Storm. Nice pass inside by Izzy Agiev. Agiev. Izzy Agiev. Izzy Agiev. Okay, I'm going to really try and get that done correctly. There's a nice steal off the cross court pass. It's Yagiev, coast to coast, lays it up and in. But now the lead is back to four for the Storm. Under a minute to go here in the first quarter. As Maimonides, the MCATs, break the pressure. The three off the mark, no good. And it's Yagiev with the rebound. 40 seconds to go. Nice crossover dribble and a floater off the mark, no good. Trying to get his own rebound, but he knocked it out of bounds. Substitutions on the way in the game for the Maimonides School is Greenberg and number 11, Danny Masagi. In the game for Storm is number 12, Cal Bloom. And number 33, I don't know who number 33 is. It's not on my roster. Find out another time. Back in the ball game for my monody school is Zach Gelb. Nice drive inside. Nice bucket there by Josh Kanner. Gets it to go five seconds to go here in the quarter. Is Iagia for three off the mark? No good. And that is going to do it for the first quarter. Here in the Tier 2 Championship, the Cats Yeshiva High School Storm lead the Maimonides School in Cats by a score of 12 to 10 here in the early going. Thank you. 
you know, the uh, – okay, so we have on the floor for the Storm is Resnick, Munter, Cobloom, Shia Goldberg in the ballgame for the first time, and Nathaniel Hoffman on the floor for the MCATs. We've got Greenberg, Misagi, Tanner. Renan, the Wirtz, and Zach Gelb. Okay. Oh, nice backdoor pass and nice finish there by Josh Canner. You know, they say there's a storm coming. The thunder don't get you, but the lightning will. The ball game is tied up here. The early going in the second quarter. Close to a three-second call. If they don't get out of the lane, there's a three on the way. No good. Rebound taken by Jonathan Greenberg. Here comes Greenberg. Full force. Good kick out. Three on the way. No good. Rebound cleared by that's Shy Avakman. And there's a nice finish there by Paul Bloom. Full court pressure by the Storm. Just trying to get the MCATs to speed up a little bit. Trap in the corner. Call timeout. No, they don't call timeout. They get it out of there. Nice drive. Off the mark, no good. Good play there by Greenberg. Back the other way. Here's Munter. And Munter with the finish. Harry Munter to lead back to four. Kind of thought Munter was going to throw that one down with some authority. Here are the MCATs. It's the zone. Monitor's in a 3-2 zone, it looks like. There's a three off the mark. Greenberg, nice offensive rebound there by Canner. Canner turnaround jumper blocked by Munter. And the Storm come away with it. But back the other way, here come the Storm. No numbers. And Goldberg will pull it out. There's a nice drive, reverse layup off the mark, no good. Munter gets it, kicks it out, baseline jumper off the mark, no good. And here come the MCATs. This is Gewertz. Nice handles. Greenberg thought about another three. Now he's going to dump it inside to Canner. Canner blocked by Munter. This time he gets it back, and this time he converts. Great hustle, intestinal fortitude personified by Canner. As timeout is called by Storm, 5.22 to go here in the first half. Your score. The Cats Yeshiva Storm, 16, the MCATs, 14. This is the Tier 2 Championship. Folks, don't forget, coming up a little bit later today, right here on CooperInvitational.com, it will be the Flatbush Yeshiva Falcons versus the Megan David Yeshiva Warriors, and I say that with New York inflection, the Warriors, here in Memphis, we would just call them the Warriors. However, it reminds me of one of my favorite all-time songs, The Warrior by Patti Smith, featuring Scandal. If you've ever seen the NBA Superstars videos they used to give away with Sports Illustrated, it was NBA Superstars videos, edition one. That was Charles Barkley's song, The Warrior. So here's the storm, and he loses the dribble. That looks like that was Goldberg. Nope, I'm sorry. That was Callbloom. Dribbles it out of bounds, and it will belong to the Imcats. The inbound to Weinstock. He breaks the pressure easily, and he's fouled. That's going to go against the Agiev. Here are the MCATs against the pressure, the half-court pressure. 
by Weinstock. There's a three on the way off the mark. That was Schwartz with the shot. Now here's Canner. And there's a steal. It's Yagiev coast to coast, lays it up and in. There's a near steal in the backcourt. Incats will have the basketball. Going to be over here on the side. Canner inbounds. The soggy and it's stolen from behind. Teammates got to let him know there's somebody coming. There's a three from the corner. No good. And Nizyagiev gets the offensive rebound midair, tries to shoot it up, but he's fouled. He's going to go to the line for two. Zach Nizyagiev has really been the key offensive piece for the focus storm here. The early goings in this ballgame. Short on the first free throw. Checking in the ballgame for the MCATs, Renan Gewertz. The words. Mr. Scoreboard Man, who's playing over on the other court? Oh, took his, took his cans off. Ball's loose on the floor. It's going to be a timeout called by the Incats. So the Cats trail by six. 414 to go here in the first half. They get a timeout as there was a loose ball. They risk possession. It's going to be a full timeout. They'll have a chance to talk about what they want to do against this, against this pressure. Seen some pretty good basketball here in this Tier 2 championship, as we expected we would. For the MCATs, we've seen it's really been a lot of Josh Keener. Been really good on the offensive boards. And for the Yeshiva, Cats Yeshiva Storm, it's been the Impressive play of Zach Zagiev. Now, the program lists him at 6'5", and he's a center. And so now I'm wondering if that's actually who we're talking about. But number 10 for the Yeshiva Storm. We'll just continue to call him the name we've been calling him. Nice pass inside. There's Weinstock. He goes right to the basket and lays it up and in. For the MCATs. Weinstock, good interior post moves. They can find a way to isolate him and get him to the basketball. Certainly have a pretty good, good run of it inside. Dribble drive. Shot goes up. That was Bachman. Couldn't get it to go. Back in the ballgame for the MCATs. Number zero, Jonathan Greenberg. One, two, one, one, full court pressure. MCATs break it. Three on the way. No good. Greenberg with the offensive rebound and lays it up and in. So now the lead cut to two. Every time the Cats Yeshiva Storm get the lead up to four or six, the MCATs make a little mini run of their own and cut it back to two. The wide open three, top of the key, off the mark, no good. Rebound inside, that was number 33. I think they said that was Yaakov Yosef, but there's a three from the corner, and it's good. I believe that was Izzy Aguia. Near steal. Ball goes into the backcourt, but Cats hit it back. There's a drive, wine stock, can't get it to go. It's going to be a foul called. I was going to go against Danny Misagi. Two, two shots for Nathan Weinstock. First free throw good into the ballgame for the Storm comes 
and Adidan and Harry Munter. The Munter Mash. Second free throw by Weinstock. Good form. This one goes off the mark. Josh Kinner almost saves it, but it goes out of bounds, and it will belong to Storm. Two and a half to play here in the second quarter. Catch Yeshiva Storm leads 23-19. Take their time here against the 2-3 zone. Baseline drive. He's got the Iziagiev. That is a mouthful. Nice pull-up jumper. It's blocked. Thought he was fouled. It could have been fouled. No call. Here comes Greenberg. Three on the way by Schwartz. This one's good. Avi Schwartz with the three. Now the lead is cut to one. Like I said, every time it's been a four or five point game, the Incats have found a way to cut it. They do there with a three. Nice drive there by Tall Bloom as the coach of the storm. We're trying to call timeout, but it gets it to go. So a minute 23 to go. First half, Storm extend their lead to three. There's Schwartz with another three. This one from the wing off the mark, no good. And there's a rebound up ahead. There's a Yagiev. And he'll lay it up and in. And just like that, the lead goes from five to five, one to five. A blink of an eye. One minute to go here in the half. Winner of this game will go home with the Tier two championship trophy. Nice pump fake to the corner for the three off the mark. And that's going to go against. Foul's going to go against Jake Caublum. Fouled Weinstock. Weinstock able to get the offensive rebound, try to go up with it immediately. Shot and he was fouled. So he'll have an opportunity for free throws here. Makes the first. And the second is good. Tight ball game here. 40 seconds left here in the first half. Catch Yeshiva Storm with the basketball. Nice free throw line pick. Nearly traveled. No call. Harry Munter goes up, and he's blocked slash fouled by Nathan Weinstock, and that's going to put Munter on the line for an opportunity for two shots. First free throw by Munter. Off the mark. Stop, stop, stop. Checking in for the storm is Jake Loberfield. Loberfeld. I believe he went in for Izyagia, who I believe has two fouls. Smart way to protect him. As Munter, unable to capitalize, misses both free throws. Balls loose high up in the air. It's Weinstock comes away with it. Now, here come the Incats. 15 seconds left. Have a chance to slice into the lead again. He's got a man wide open in the corner. Give him the ball. Weinstock pull up 15-footer off the mark. No good. And it's loose. 0.3 seconds remain. And Incats will have one last opportunity for a very quick catch and shoot. 
See if they can pull something off. And it's off the mark. Ball was tipped. The ball was tipped. No basket. Good call there by the official. So at the end of one half of play, it's going to be Cat Yeshiva Storm 27. The MCATs Maimonides School 24. Going to have a overtime period. I mean, a halftime period here. We are going to take a little break, and we'll be back with you in just a few minutes for the Tier 2 Championship game. Yeah, I thought it did. I 100%. Yeah, because like, when it tips, I put my hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, it's all good. But yeah, so once the point three, there wasn't enough time for it to be tipped. Who's playing over here? Cooper. Just bad. You want to go? Hey, what's up? Thank 
rotating. I don't know. Hey, did it go all the way out? Or just no. hesitated for a second? It went all the way out, but it's back. It I see it. It's done that a few times. I know. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Tier 2 Championship game. You catch Yeshiva Storm from Boca Raton, Florida, versus the Maimonides Schools, the MCATs. The Tier 2 Championship game, of course, I've come to realize that the Cats Yeshiva Storm names and numbers do not actually correspond with the actual human beings that are on the court. So I'll just stick to the numbers now. I apologize for the inconvenience. As number 10 in orange, scoring a bunch of points. I realize he's listed at 6'5", and that is certainly not the case. So to start the second half here, the Storm have a three-point lead and the basketball. Number one controlling the point. There's a kick out to the corner. Now back up top to number one. Nice drive by number 12. Can't get the 14-footer to go. Nice offensive rebound. There's a shot inside. It's off the mark. Rebound cleared by Jonathan Greenberg. 
of the MCATs. Nice backdoor pass. It's Kander with a reverse layup, and he got bumped. Foul's going to go against number 24. For the Storm. Going to be Maimonides basketball under the basket. Here in the early going of the third quarter. Nice pull up by Weinstock. Can't get it to go. Rebound by number 24, and here comes number 10 for the Storm. Quickly up ahead. Three-pointer from the wing. Wide open. Couldn't get it to go in and out. Now another one from the other wing. This is number 12, and he can't get it to go. Rebound taken by Schwartz. In a little bit of trouble. He's trapped. Throws it deep. Smart play there as they try to throw it up to Renan Gewertz. And instead of trying to put it back into the backcourt, he just threw it up ahead of the front court, hoping one of his guys would be there. Unfortunately, they were not. It's going to be Storm basketball here. They kick it around the perimeter. Nice pull up, Jay. Number 10. Another rebound by Jonathan Greenberg. Greenberg, a lot of rebounds here tonight. Nice pass to Canner. Oh, and Canner couldn't get it to go. Tough break there. Quickly the other way here in the storm. Number one with a nice little dip in. Couldn't get it to go. Nice pass inside. Number 24, the big man. The lead back to five. And it's going to be an offensive foul against number 21, Nathan Weinstock. Number one for the storm kind of made a meal out of that one. But, you know, you got to sell it. If international soccer, a.k.a. football, has taught us anything, half the, half the battle is winning the acting award. you got to sell it. I'm not saying he wasn't a foul. I'm just saying you want to get the referee's attention, you better sell it. Here's a three from the wing. Number 12 can't get it to go. Inside number 24. Easy offensive rebound and an easy layup. So now it's full court pressure here by the Storm. And Cat's trying to break it. Hanner, the 1 2 2 full court zone trap. Here's Greenberg. He was going to drive it up off the mark. No good. Maimonides has had several shots here. The early going of the third quarter have just gone in and out. And now a three bomb by number one in the lead, just like that, is 10 points for the Storm. More full, more full court pressure here by the Storm. Weinstock breaks it. Nice flyby. Three from the wing, and he can't get it to go. That was Avi Schwartz with the three. But here comes the Storm. They want to build on this 10-point lead. Kick out to the wing, number 12, three-pointer way off the mark. The words run the point over to Schwartz. Nice drive inside by Greenberg. Nice dump off the wine stock, and he lays it up and in. That's beautifully executed, patient offense by the Incats. Four twenty to go. That baseline jumper, good by the Storm, and it's a ten-point lead again. Here's Greenberg loses control, but he gets it back. Weinstock steps into a three, short. Come the Storm, try to kick it to the corner and stolen away. Here comes Schwartz for the Incats. Schwartz to the corner is a three on the way, and it's good. Renan Gewertz. With the three, going to be a 30-second timeout. Into the ballgame for the MCATs is going to be Gelb. And it looks like Banks. Gelb. 
MVP brought to you by Manischewitz because, oh man, it's Manischewitz. Right. The book is official. So anyway, here we go. It's 341 to go here, third quarter. After that three-point shot, the lead is cut to seven. Storm have the basketball. We'll bring it up. And I'm not sure what the stoppage is. Okay. So we're back in action. This team out of Boca, one of several teams from Florida that are playing and have played in the tournament here. Of course, we've had Hosnack out of Davie, Florida, have, are playing in the tournament this year. We've had Pillel Community School. Aventura area. Their play played here before. Uh, Razji has played in this tournament before. My nephew, the A bomb, Andrew Lipsy, a member of the Razji school for now. Rumor has it other schools are trying to buy his services. Not only is he a tremendous athlete, but he is a tremendous mathlete. As Jonathan Greenberg gets it to go, the lead's back to five. So cut to five after they were down 10. 2.47 to go here for third quarter. Storm looked for a good shot. Trying to stop this run. Number 10 from the Storm. No good. Here comes Gerwitz. Gerwitz the other way. Gortz gets it stripped, but it's going to stay with the MCATs. Two and a half to play here in the third. Substitutions all the way for the MCATs. Masagi Weinstock back in. In the ballgame for Storm is number 23. Seen a pretty good basketball game here. The Storm have been up various levels the entire game but never really putting the MCATs away. They've been worked just up by 10 minutes ago. Lead cut to 5. A little bit out of control there by 33 but number 10 scoops it up and scores. And now the lead's back to 7. 2-10 to play here in the quarter. Nice pass. That's going to be a foul as Banks Try to get the layup to go. Couldn't get him. He'll get two shots. That foul's going to be going against number 10 for the Storm. Three fouls against number 10 on the Storm. Still have two and a half, to two minutes and five seconds to play here in the third. Free throw is good by Agent Aaron Banks. In the ball game for the Storm, number one. Was in for number 22. Banks is off the mark with the second free throw. So six point game here with two minutes to go, third quarter. Here come the storm. Don't forget, the winner of this game wins the tier two championship, and the tier one championship will be just a little bit later today. Flatbush will take on Megan David. Two Brooklyn teams. Believe. Good job, Shy. Shy, Shy, hit. Good. Nice spin move by Weinstock off the mark. Get a foul called. Looks like yes. Foul's going to go against number 33 for the storm. Going to put wine stock back on the line for two shots. Wine stock hits the first. Avi Schwartz back in the game, checking in for Renan Gewurz. Oh. 
Second free throw by Weinstock. Good. Now the lead is cut to four. At one point this quarter, the Storm had a 10-point lead. Now down to four. Here are the Storm. Wide open look. Off the mark, no good. Just inside the three-point line, where some people will tell you is the absolute worst place to take a shot. It's the longest shot you can still get two points for. Better off either being a little bit farther back or much closer in. There's a nice nice offensive rebound there by Agent Aaron Banks. Goes up for the shot, gets fouled. That foul's going to go against number 23. Banks will have two shots, a chance to cut it to two. Banks hits the first. Substitute coming on to number 24 for Storm. Banks short on the second. Rebound cleared by number 33 for the Storm. So here comes the Storm, 44 seconds to go. Three-pointer on the way. Off the mark, no good. Offensive rebound there by number 33. He goes up, can't get it to go. Gets it again. This time he goes up, and he's fouled. What a nice play. Hustle play by number 33 for the Captain Yeshiva Storm. As the lead had been cut, the three goes up for the shot. Misses, gets his own rebound, goes up again, gets it to go, and the foul. And the and one opportunity here. And free throw off the mark, no good. It's going to be a lane violation against the Storm. Substitute coming on number four, Storm. He replaces number 10, who I believe has three fouls. It's going to be a two-shot opportunity here for MCATs. So the new rules, I don't know if this applies to rules in other states. We have multiple teams from multiple states. The rule of Tennessee high school basketball now is each quarter you shoot free throws on the fifth foul, the 15th foul. The new rule, uh, I'm not sure how much I love it yet, but it does kind of stop you from having an excessive amount of one-and-ones the entire half. So they do it by quarter now. It's interesting. Um, you know, I don't do that much high school basketball games, so it's fine. My, uh, my expertise is usually needed at the college and professional level. The ball gets knocked out of bounds. It will belong to the Storm. They lead by three. 26.4. Fading in the quarter. Tempted reverse layup. That foul is going to go against Jonathan Greenberg. MCATs. Be on the floor. But here comes the storm with the inbound under the basket. Nice attempted pass. Ball stolen away by Greenberg for the MCATs. Now they're trapped in the backcourt. They're looking deep. They get it to Banks, and Banks can't save it. So 11 seconds to go the quarter here come the storm eight seconds left they don't seem to be in much of a hurry here comes number one top of the key he's going to pull up knocks it down nice shot as time expires here in the third quarter that is going to give the lead it's going to give the lead to the storm 42 to 37. Don't look at me, pal. I don't do the clock. The uh, coaching staff of the storm looking at me like, how come the points aren't on the board? I don't control the scoreboard, pal. Only report on what I see. What I see is a pretty good basketball game that might come down to the wire as the Oka Cats Yeshiva Storm. Lee Baum, I know you can't 
can't hear me. You can't hear what I'm saying? Yeah, Lee Baum, the scorekeeper and head of scorekeeping, entire Cooper Invitational. His nephews went to Cats Yeshiva. Only three out of the four of them were expelled. I'm kidding about that. I don't think any of them were expelled. I know Sammy Baum, and I'm not sure what the other ones are. To be honest with you. Anyway, here we are about to start the fourth quarter of the Tier 2 Championship game. As the MCATs inbound the basketball, they trail by five. They end the man defense, it looks like. Storm, good patience. They can't get it to go, but the rebound. It's knocked out of bounds, and the storm will remain on defense here. So here come the MCATs. Get the ball in bounds. This is Masagi. And now Greenberg. Greenberg tries to kick at the banks. Gets stolen away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a little bit dicey. Interesting ball there. That's going to go against the storm. Looked like Banks was as much culpable as... Uh, 33 the storm was trying to get to that loose ball but anyway it will belong to the MCATs and here comes the inbound this is Renan Gowertz oh great, great look inside Greenberg can't finish gets his own rebound and this time he does and now the lead's cut to three Storm was once up by 10 in this ball game. This MCAT team go right back at you. There's a travel on the inside as number 24 was going into the post position. Traveled with the basketball, and the MCATs have the ball now. Chance to tie with a three as Gowertz controls the point. Token pressure, Storm. Man to man D by the Storm. Greenberg on the drive, kick out the Banks. Banks, the Gowertz for three. Oh, off the mark, no good. Rebound pops out to Greenberg from the Cats. Now a near steal. Ball goes all the way down to the other end, and it will stay with the in Cats. So now here are the Cats. Six and a half to play in the fourth. Trail by three. Here's Banks. Now go works. Inside the canner. Nice scoop. Go, 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 go. Off the bottom of the backboard. Here come the storm. Coast to coast. It's going to be an offensive foul. As number 24 barreled into the paint. Took two or three guys with him. That's going to be an offensive foul. So checking it now for the MCATs. 21, Weinstock, and number 12 coming in the game for the Storm. Full court pressure by the Storm as the Incats try to inbound. Get it to Weinstock. He's going to dribble past number 24. He's going to go all the way in. That could have been a blocking foul. No call. Weinstock lays it up and in. Now the lead is merely a single point. Here's a 15-footer. It's blocked by Weinstock. Nice block out by Banks. Full court pass up ahead to Weinstock. Weinstock goes up with the hook shot. He's fouled. No good. But he will go to the line for two shots with a chance to take the lead. Referee just waved him in. That's going to be on the floor. That was surprising. I guess there's not going to be shots coming. But surprised with that call. Nice find on the baseline. Now top of the key. Back to the corner for three. Oh, off the mark. No good. That was Schwartz. Ball's going to go out of bounds. Off of the storm. And it'll stay with the Cats. Substitute coming on. This is number 22 for the storm. 
They had to be in defense for, by the storm. Three pointer on the way. This time, top of the key, and it's good. Bobby Schwartz gives the Incats the lead with 5:25 to go here in the fourth quarter of the Tier Two Championship game. Beautiful curl off the screen, and Schwartz nails the three. There's a nice drive there by number 12. The game is now tied, but this is really getting heated up, folks. With five minutes to go here in the ballgame, it's tied up between the Maimonides School, the Incats out of Boston, East Coast rivals, the Katskashiva High School Storm out of Boca Raton, Florida. This is for the Tier 2 Championship of the Cooper Invitational. Wine stock in the corner. Here's a three from the top of the key. It's off the mark. No good. Tanner almost got the offensive rebound. No good. Back the other way. It's number one for the Storm. And now they've retaken the lead. They're up by two. Ball gets knocked out of bounds with the pressure, and it will belong to the Storm. So now the Storm retakes the lead in to build on it. Ball gets loose, knocked out of bounds, stays with the storm. All the way to the top, Gerwitz, Gerwitz, Gerwitz steals it away. Oh, tough break there. And Schwartz is going up for the layup, slid and fell. It's going to be a travel. 4.18 to play. Boca Storm with the lead and the basketball here in the Tier 2 Championship at the Cooper Invitation. So here's number one for the Storm running the point. Brings it across against the pressure of a 2-3 zone. Pull up 15-footer is good. We've seen that shot multiple times there by number 12. It's another one to go in. Here's Weinstock. Up ahead, this is Schwartz. Now Weinstock is trying to go for a spin move. Would have been a travel, but he gets called. Foul called. I don't know it was 22 or 24. Oh, foul goes against number one. And the three-pointer goes for Gowertz. There's a long three-point shot. It goes way back, way off. But now Maimonides, that three, cut the lead to one, and they'll have the basketball. Get the ball inbounds to Gowertz, now to Canner. Now they break the press. Oh, they tried to go all the way down court to Weinstock, and they throw it away. Not necessary. Here's number one running the point for the Storm down to number 12. Pick up high by 24. 12 likes this mid-range game. He's going to pull up again. This time he's short. It's good works. Words getting ridden up the court by number one. This is going to try and do a pull up jumper and he gets blocked. Should have pulled that back out and ball will belong to Storm. 3.06 to play here in the fourth quarter. It's a one point ball game. Storm with the ball and the one point lead. Nice pick by number 22, number 10 with the handles. Number one. Ten on the baseline drive. Looks inside. 22 with the fadeaway. No good. Rebound taken by the Imcats. And they put it on the floor. It gets stolen away. However, it goes out of bounds to the Imcats. A break there. As the storm stole it in the backcourt. But when he went down, he was laying on the, on the line. Be out of bounds. So here comes... Greenberg trying to break the pressure. 
gets it out to Canner. They break the pressure. Now they can take some a little bit of time and get into their offense. There we go. Now that's the control we need to see. So let's go Wurtz with the point. Up top, Weinstock. Now Canner. Greenberg. Now Schwartz. The Wurtz on the wing. Side, Weinstock gets thrown away. Here comes Big 24 back the other way from the storm, and there's a scrub. That foul's going to go against Jonathan Greenberg of the Impats. It's going to be on the floor, so that's going to be out of bounds for the storm. 2.15 to play, fourth quarter. Storm have the basketball and one point lead. They get it into big number 24. Drives the lane and he's fouled. The foul's going to go against number 33, Josh Kanner, MCATS. First, first free throw. Good. Now number 24 with another opportunity to extend the lead. Second one's good. So now full court pressure by the storm. MCATs have the basketball. 212 to go here in the fourth. What a steal by number one of the storm, but he lands out of bounds. And the MCATs will have the basketball down three, 212 to play here in the fourth. Chance to tie with a three. Here in the storm, right in front of our table. Storm, a much deeper team than the MCATs. Cats. Scrappy, scratching and clawing. Cat scratch fever, if you will. Opportunity. But a good offensive possession to either cut into the lead or take or tie the game. See what their coach, Rabbi Ed Gelb, can come up with. Cats inbound to the backcourt. It's Ger- Gerwitz. I want to say Gerwitz. Gerwitz brings up Greenberg. Now Weinstock. That was Schwartz with the basketball. Near steal. Nice kick out. Gerwitz for three. Money in the bank. It's Sunday. The bank is open. He didn't bank it, but he banked it monetarily. 50 to go. Tie ball game. Tier 2 championship. Cooper Invitational. Here's number 12 on the drive. No good. One point in this ball game. The storm was up by 10 points. Here's Weinstock for the Incats. Now to Kowerts. Now Canner. Heavy pressure by 22. Schwartz on the drive. Kick out. Weinstock. Three. Off the mark. Rebound taken by number 10 for the storm. Quickly up ahead. Goes cross court to number 24. The big man for the three. No good. Rebound taken by Gewertz. Gewertz slices through. Got help. Now he's going to back it out. Beautifully played there by Renan Gewertz. Dewey didn't have numbers. Now 21 Weinstock up the top to Schwartz. Gewertz for the MCATs. Weinstock. Now Greenberg. Now Gewertz again. Going to try and drive. He kicks it to the corner. Here's Weinstock. Near steal. Here's Greenberg. They go to Canner. Another near steal. And a timeout called. Holy cow, folks. This is getting very interesting. Very interesting here as we have 28.9 seconds to go here in the ballgame. Your score 50 to 50. 
tied. That's what that means. When the score is tied, it is tied. The winner of this ball game will be the Tier 2 champions of the Cooper Invitational. We will also later today announce the Tier 2 MVP. My bet is it's going to come from this game. One of these two teams will have been one of these teams will have given us the tier two champion, tier two MVP rather. I assure you, whoever does win the Tier 2 MVP, they're more worried about how their team does. But a lot of very nice, selfless play by both of these teams. So here we go, 28.9. Maimonides with the inbound. Back court to Renan Gewurz. We're down to 25 seconds. Now Weinstock. Now Greenberg. Up top, Canner. Now Gewurz. 15 seconds. Here's Schwartz. Weinstock. Schwartz looking, looking. Kicking to Weinstock. Weinstock with the drive. Throws it up. It goes out of bounds. And let's see. There's confusion. One ref pointed one way. The other pointed the other way. So which way is it going to go? Is it going to stay with the Kimcats or is it going to go to the Storm? And it will go to the storm. Now, that errant shot by Weinstock, it goes out of bounds. Storm will have the basketball with two seconds left on their own end. If I'm the coach, and if they have any timeouts left, I'm going to try and get it into the front court and call another timeout. That's the way I would do it. Because the chances of getting a good shot with two seconds left off of down from under the other team's basket, not so great. But they have a good coaching staff here with the Boca Storm. Just as I suspected, they're, they're going to attempt to get the ball to half court and then call another timeout. We'll see if they can actually make that happen. Here are the storm. The tie ball game with the inbound. Fox starts. They go for the long full court shot. Oh, goodness gracious. Almost full court shot. And it does not go in. So we will be going to overtime. Overtime will commence here shortly. The Tier 2 championship, it is tied at 50 to 50. All right, folks, this is whew, very exciting. Your score, 50 to 50. The MCATs, Maimonides from Boston. Facing Yeshiva, Cats Yeshiva Storm out of Boca. We will have four minutes of free basketball overtime. So the jump ball will go. Looks like the MCATs come away with it. Here comes Maimonides. It's Gewurz. 
Now Weinstock up top to Greenberg. There's Schwartz on the curl. Goes up over the big man from Boca. Cannot get it to go. So here come the storm. Back the other way. It's number one. He slices and dices through the lane. Pull up jumper. No good. Offensive rebound. No. It is Maimonides. Comes away with it. That is going to put, I believe, Jonathan Greenberg on the line for two shots as it is now the bonus situation. Five team fouls against Boca. 3.31 to go here in the overtime period. Great. Two teams I also haven't done. No problem. Okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Greenberg's free throw sounded like a clunker, but it hung on that rim and went down. Greenberg's second. Can't get it to go. Off of the oh, rebound oh, attempted. No good. Now, here comes the storm. Here's number 12. Pick out the number one. Number one for three. No good. Here's number 10. As the storm trails by one. Number 12, we know he likes that mid-range pull-up game. He gives it to number 10. 10 drives in, blocked by Weinstock. Nice save, but it does go back to the storm. There's number 12. He's going to go up 18 feet. Ooh, in and out, no good. Nice rebound there by Greenberg. Greenberg, certainly an MVP candidate, from just certainly from the number of rebounds he's had. Here's Canner. Greenberg on the drive, scoop and score. Jonathan Greenberg. And he helps the MCATs to a three point lead, their biggest lead of the ball game, I think. With two and a half to play here in the overtime period. Here's a three from the wing. No good. That was by number 10. Number one gets the offensive rebound. Here's number 24 for the storm. He's going to pull up for three. He's short off the mark, and the rebound taken by the Cats. They throw it away in the backcourt. Here's number 24. He's going to drive. Kick out the 12. 12, three, in and out. No good. And this is Schwartz with the rebound. Now, wide stop. Nice control. Weinstock finds Greenberg underneath the basket, and he gets it to go. Greenberg again, and the lead is five for the Incats with 145 to go in the 145 to go here in the in the overtime period, and then Storm lost control of the basketball. The referee grants timeout, even though they did not have the basketball. So, folks, the game reset. 139 to play here. This is overtime. It's here to a championship between the Cats, the Storm out of Boca, and the Maimonides School MCATs from Boston, Massachusetts, the Boston area. This game at one point was a 10 point lead for the Storm. However, Maimonides School never was out of this game. Every time the lead, when the lead did get to 10, they immediately cut it to five. When the lead was seven, they immediately cut it to three. Now, they tied it up. They go to overtime. Jonathan Greenberg, the senior forward, reminds me, reminds me a lot of myself as he wears the number zero. From my playing days. Here's number 10. Storm, number 12, up top, tries to drive. Now number one. Nice pull-up jumper, it's off the mark. Rebounds loose, 24 for the orange, take it. And now the baseline jumper is good by number 12. Lead cut to three. 
Here's Greenberg. Nearly got stolen. He finds Schwartz underneath. Schwartz patiently kicks it out to Gowertz. Now Gowertz. Just over a minute to go here in the overtime period. Greenberg, nice control. Storm going to try to put on the pressure. Now Gowertz. Now Schwartz. Find Greenberg in the corner. Quickly gets it back to Gowertz. And there's going to be a foul call. 54, 50.4 to go. We're going to put Avi Schwartz on the floor, on the foul line, rather, to shoot two shots. A chance to extend this lead back to five. First free throw off the mark, no good. They really need to hit this one to make it a two-possession ball game. It's the second. Now the lead is four. 50 seconds left. Here comes number one, now the number 10 for the storm. Bring it across. Thought about a three. Now number one. Gonna be a foul on the floor by number three, Renan Gord. No harm. There was a foul. That's not a bonus situation yet. Timeout on the floor, this time called by the Storm. They trail the game by four. This is overtime in the Tier 2 championship. 37 and a half seconds remaining. What a tremendous show of intestinal fortitude by the Incats. Those of you in Boston, I know you're not busy watching the Patriots. I know you're not concerned about the Celtics. You are worried. Worried. You're riveted by these Maimonides School MCATs, as you should be. The MCATs, the ones down by 10 in this ballgame, have come back. Now they lead the game by four in overtime. Storm have the basketball. Inbound comes to number one. By number 10. Back to number one. He slices through the lane. Ball's loose. It's going to be a foul. Foul goes to go against number 33, Josh Kander of the MCATs. And now 10 seconds have expired. It's the last inbounds, 27.5. Here comes the storm. Nice dribble drive. Baseline jumper off the mark. No good. Ball is loose. And look who it is. It's Greenberg with the rebound. He gets it to go words, and that's going to be a reach in foul against number one of the storm with 16.6 to go. Avi Schwartz will go to the line with a chance to put this game on ice. If you play it ice, you're going to harvest wind. Okay, remember that. If you play it ice, you're going to harvest wind. Renan Gewurz knocks down the first free throw. The lead is now five. Get the rebound. Into the ball game four. The storm number fourteen, number twenty-two. And here's the words. And it's off the mark. Lock now running. Here comes number 10. Goes all the way down. Lays it up. Gets it to go. 10 seconds remaining. Here are the Incats. They go all the way down the court to Greenberg. Greenberg avoids the trouble. He is fouled. 1.3 to go. All he needs to do is make one single free throw. The foul goes against number 14 for the Storm. Greenberg has a chance to put Maimonides up. Free throw is up. It's good. Jonathan Greenberg with a tremendous effort in today's game. And the lead is now four with 1.3 to go in the overtime period. It is all but over as 
Greenberg will have one more free throw. If I'm the coach of the Maimonides in Cats, I will tell my guys, make or miss, you just stand there with your hands to your sides and let them do whatever they want because they cannot come back and beat you at this point. So we will see what he is advising his team. They will all be off the line. Only Greenberg will be at the free throw line. And I must admit, I'm a little disappointed with the way this game went for the Storm. It did have a 10-point lead. The MCATs never gave up. They came back. The game was tied. They went to overtime. They won the overtime period. Now a five-point game. Storm call timeout, down by five with 1.3. So here comes the Storm to inbound. They are down by five with 1.3 seconds left. Here comes the inbound. It's going to be number 10 to trigger. All the way down the court. Here's the shot by number 23. It's off the mark. No good. And the Maimonides School Impacts win their two championship by a score of 59 to 54. The great comeback effort. Folks, unbelievable ball game. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with more action. I believe it's going to be the third place game between Hafter and Valley Tora, but I'm going to check on that. We'll be back after this in just a few minutes. Thank you. 